the Asian nation earned the first World Cup victory on European soil after edging out the South American opponents to win 2-1 in the Group H opener, The Sun reports. And the fans celebrated in style by tidying up the ground, just as they had done during the World Cup in Brazil four years ago. Supporters took bin bags with them to the game against Ivory Coast in 2014, and despite losing, stayed to clean up after themselves. Fans refused to go overboard at the Mordovia Arena, after witnessing Japan become the first Asian country to beat a South American side at a World Cup, and in doing so, gained revenge against Jose P. Kamin's men after Colombia thrashed them 4-1 in the group stages in 2014, a former Manchester United midfielder Shinji Kagar opened the scoring from the spot in just the sixth minute after Carlos Sanchez was sent off for a blatant handball. Juan Quintero then equalised in brilliant fashion after hitting his free kick underneath the wall, as it crept just inside the post before the break. But, Köln striker Yuya Osako ensured Japan would claim the vital three points after heading home. In the 73rd minute, the 28-year-old rose highest from a corner, as he guided his attempt in off the post to seal a famous win for Akira Nishino's side. It Seemed the actions of the Japan fans inspired those of Senegal. Video footage began circulating, after the win over Poland in which supporters could be seen collecting together the litter. Left by supporters, the party wasn't just inside the Russian stadium. Bars across Japan erupted, with joy on Tuesday night as football fans exchanged beery hugs after the team stunned. Colombia 2-1 in the World Cup opener in Russia. Many supporters, the majority the worse, for where after a boozy evening glued to the television, celebrated with one for the road, while still managing to keep one eye on the clock to check they could make trains home. In Tokyo, a former England captain David Beckham sprinkled some stardust on a city that once sculpted a life-size chocolate statue in his image when he appeared. At halftime at a public viewing event, you beauty, screamed Kanadachi, a 36-year-old computer salesman, almost falling off his stool in a Tokyo sports bar when Yuya Osako scored Japan's second goal against 10-man Colombia. I didn't think we had much of a chance against a team from South America, admitted Adachi after the final whistle sounded a little before 11 p.m. Local time. Revenge is sweet though thrashed 4-1 by Colombia at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Japan's unexpected victory came courtesy of a header from Osako after Juan Quintero's clever free kick had cancelled out Shinji Kagawa's early penalty in Saransk. That was so amazing, squealed. 21-year-old student Kaori Hagino, her nails painted red and white in the colours of Japan's national flag. Maybe now we can get to the final, she added hopefully, downing a gin and tonic. Anyway we'll have a few more drinks tonight to celebrate police fans hundreds of fans wearing blue Japan shirts spilled out onto the iconic scramble crossing in Tokyo's trendy Shibuya district to chant football songs as the revelry continued. As many over-exuberant supporters weaved in and out of cars, police perched on vans with loudspeakers politely urged them to obey the traffic lights. Few of those watching on giant screens in a bar close by cared that Colombia had been reduced to 10 men after just three minutes. For a handball by Carlos Sanchez, we were rubbish in Brazil four years ago. Quick exit, nothing to cheer about, slurred 33-year-old interior designer Makoto Kawakami, his Japan shirt soaked. In beer, we'll take the three points, however they come. One or two fans sounded a note of caution through the alcoholic haze of euphoria. We still have to play Senegal and then Poland so it will still be difficult, nodded law student Taka Iwasaki, 19, but maybe. Now we have a chance of getting to the last 16. Several fans also paid tribute to the victims of a powerful earthquake that hit Osaka on Monday, leaving five. Dead and 370 injured, I'm sure the players had the victims in the minds, said 38-year-old aesthetician Mari Takada, hopefully they can provide a little comfort to those poor people.